some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in a council meeting where DMA and Reagan Benson are still upset over a snafu that DMA committed months ago. But they've just got to blame everybody else but themselves. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How do you state your name and address for the record? Hi, my name is Regan, and I'm not going to give you my address because it doesn't matter. Many unbearable hours later. And what I want to talk about tonight is a records request. And I would implore all of you on City Council, um, since you are elected to represent the people, and you are not in positions of protecting the government, that you please have a discussion with your city manager about your policies on records requests. You've got the police department playing hardball simply because of arrogance over a criminal justice records act that this gentleman had made many months ago. I had to dig deep into my files for this one. It's been a while, so... But here's the context of what she's talking about. And in the video, you find out that it's clearly his fault for the situation. And I'll provide a link in the description to the video so you guys can watch the video in full. I, uh, I filled out a public records request over a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Deborah Swenson, I needed to get the footage off of her cell phone. Our city attorney would be responding to that. Okay, so the thing is, is they coral laws. You guys have three business days to respond. It's been over Can one. Can I see that? That was filled out with the wrong department. Oh no, DMA, you didn't make a mistake, did you? You didn't fill it off the wrong department, did you? Well, it looks like you made a boo-boo. It's not a complicated request. It's very simple. And you've got a law firm uh, with someone by the name of Bill uh, Hayashi who responded to the request for the first time in almost five months. That's against the law. And in his request, he cited that he essentially was offering up the town and the police department the opportunity to criminalize this individual for making that records requests, that one request. But the problem with Bill is that Bill's an attorney and he's supposed to know the law and what he cited had nothing to do with the records request. He was essentially telling this individual that he was going to cite him through the police department for providing false information. Okay, you got a big problem and you're gonna end up in district court. Don't underestimate the citizenry. We're not stupid. We want to know what's going on in government. Oh gee, both of you are quite stupid and DMA is the worst one of the two. The lawyer is correct in the fact that DMA did put false information on the records request. He put his name down as free American citizen. That's not his name and he knows it. He just wants to act like a moron because it feels good to him. And now it's coming back to bite him in the butt. You have no one to blame but yourself for nothing getting done. We follow Sheridan. We follow your red light camera. We're out there recording, exercising our rights. You guys are generating $42,000 a month in red light photo radar tickets. Would you please start praying for people so they know not to pay those damn tickets? Because what you guys are doing is pure theft. And that's not what Jesus would do. He just would not. So I'm just here to say, please implore your city manager to get with his chief of police and tell them to do their job because if they don't, Chief Martinez, we're gonna keep coming back. Hey, Regan, you know what the 
best way is to avoid getting those red light tickets? When the light starts to turn yellow, you slow down and come to a stop. It's really that simple. You don't have to overcomplicate this. My name is Free American. Uh, for several months, I have been uh, peacefully protesting your radar, speed radar van that's on uh, Federal and also on Quincy. Uh, the first time that I was peacefully protesting on the sidewalk, I was the police were called and I was approached by Sergeant White, who informed me that I was in violation of CRS 18-8-102, obstruction of governmental operations. I explained to him that the claim and exercise of a constitutional right cannot be converted into a crime. I can stand anywhere on a public sidewalk and peacefully protest. The second and third time that I peacefully protested, I was met with Sergeant Lane, who also told me I was in violation of the law. I explained to him the same thing and they all let me go. Uh, the last incident that I had or recording that I had was on August 17th and the technician, Deborah Swenson, got out of her van and started taking video footage of me. I immediately went to the city of Sheridan and I did a CCJRA for that footage off of her phone and my public records request was ignored. Hey, Chrissy, you ever hear the maxim, work smarter, not harder? It's basically where you use your brain to lighten your workload by coming up with creative solutions on the spot to make your work more efficient. Things would have gone smoother months ago had you provided your actual name and filled out the proper paperwork for the proper department. Oh, but no, you gotta take the hard road. Now because of that, you've had to wait three months and still get no satisfaction. A month later, on September 18th, I emailed City Attorney Bill Hayashi and my email was ignored. On September 20th, I came back here uh, I had a visit with Commander Mosco, who is extremely unprofessional, rude, and condescending, and doxed me on my live stream, kept saying my first and last name, which is concerning because I never gave you guys my first and last name. Uh, he told me that Hayashi would be responding. I got ignored. A month later, on October 21st, I sent my second email to Hayashi. I got completely ignored. On November 7th, I came in to me for my second visit, got Hayashi's phone number, left him a voicemail. Finally, the next day on November 8th, Hayashi responds, claiming that my records request is denied because my signature is not legible. Who is he to determine that my signature is not legible? He also said that I must, I didn't provide ID. I've done several records requests with the city of Sheridan and all across the state of Colorado and never provided ID. Oh, he talks to you on your live stream, huh? Well, you are well known around there, and I'm sure he didn't know you were on a live stream. But that's the risk you take when you walk around like an idiot trying to get, provoke reactions out of people with the camera. So take your medicine, little crybaby, and shut up. Uh, I do not need to provide ID. CRS 24 72 201, 203, and 204 all clearly state all public records shall be open for inspection by any person. You do not need to provide ID in the state of Colorado to obtain public records. So basically, um, Hayashi, I, I think that, you know, Hayashi already knows my first and last name. On every email, he addresses me by my first and last name. You guys know who I am. I'm sure that a district court judge would be appalled that you guys are requiring ID, especially given the fact that you guys already know who I am. Secondly, I think a district court judge would think that three months is, is not a reasonable amount of time to obtain a picture off somebody's phone, um, but not even the picture. It's been almost three months and I still haven't even, I just got a response. It's been three months. So um, I shouldn't have to come down here and beg to get a public record in which I'm entitled to. So in conclusion, Please follow the law and give me the public records that I'm requesting. Thank you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Outside of the city. I don't need meeting. your consent. How's that? You want to arrest me? Do it. We'll have another opportunity yeah. for public comment at the end. I'll be back for yeah, more public we'll definitely comment. Be addressing that. That's unconstitutional. Did you, did you swear an oath to the Constitution, Mr. Granberry? Jeez. Wow. <laughs> well, Chrissy just can't get any satisfaction anywhere in this case. But you know what? It's all his fault anyway. Because he filed the 
paperwork in the wrong department. And he decided to be such a smart ass that he didn't put his real name down. And yes, the lawyer was right. That was false information right there. So, Mr. Christopher Cordova, this is all your fault. Now, man up, grow a pair, and accept your responsibility. But of course, I know you won't. <laughs>